रेपो रेट पुणि थे अपरिवर्तित रही बाबद अधिक सूचना दौरान आरबीआई गवर्नर शक्तिकांत दास आसतु सीधा सड़क नजर पक that is business targets driving retail growth rather than its actual demand in that context i would like to say that the consequent high cost and high indebtedness could pose financial stability risks if not addressed by these nbfcs in time third nbfcs may review their prevailing compensation practices variable pay and incentive structures some of which appear to be pure, purely target driven in certain nbfcs such practices may result in adverse work culture and poor customer service to sum up it is important that nbfcs including mfis and housing finance companies follow sustainable business goals a compliance first culture a strong risk management framework a strict adherence to fair practices code and a sincere approach to customer grievances the reserve bank is closely monitoring these areas and will not hesitate to take appropriate action action if necessary self correction by nbfcs would however be the desired option coming to external sector india's current account deficit that is cad widened to 1.1% of gdp in the first quarter of this financial year that is 24-25 and this was on account of higher trade deficit. Buoyancy in services exports and strong remittance receipts are expected to keep the current account deficit within the sustainable level. On the external financing side, foreign portfolio investment that is FPI flows have seen a turnaround from the net outflows of 4.2 billion US dollars in april and may this year they have turned from net outflows in april and may we had net outflow of 4.2 billion us dollars now they have now turned to net inflows of 19.2 billion us dollars during jodi apan ko am video ti bhal lagila tebe am channel ko like share aur subscribe kariba ko jama bhi bolantu nahi